Hello, Libra. Somehow this went down further than what it was supposed to. Okay, so uh, the video I did for you was really muffled, so I'm going to do another reading, a do-over, right? So hopefully you can hear me this time, and I don't have music playing. I'm starting to think that's a bad idea, but you know, my husband sleeps, and I want to try something different, and it didn't work out. Um, same shit. Happy birthday. Venus retrograde. Don't fall for temptations. Be like Christ. All good. Or else Scorpio will fuck you up. Right? Right. Good deal. And I'm using the Alistair Crowley deck. I find this deck to be sacred in my practices, so I might as well treat y'all with something a little different. Right? Just to make up for the last video being so shitty-like. Mind you, I don't interpret these very often. I have yet to even look at the book, so I'm going by the visuals and how they make me feel. Also, these are extremely new, so don't expect any to fall out very much for me. Right, right. These are extremely new. I don't use them very often at all. I mean, I already used them on Gemini. They were the first. I almost said you're the first one, but that'd be a lie. And that's for full reading while Aquarius and Pisces. But that's beside the point. No whammies. Okay, so Libra, let's see what this reading has for you this time. We got you feeling like, oh, you're offering your heart to someone. Some love, some feeling, some emotion. That's what you're feeling right now. Then we got what you want. Ah, what is this? What is this hiding your intentions? I feel like, like I, that's what I'm gonna call it. It's like, it's supposed to be like sneaking around and shit, the Seven of Swords, but it's like. Oh my goodness. No, I think you're a thing in the bobber and I really don't want it. I didn't want to tell you that, like, I don't care. You know? If I could tell marketers. Anyway, yeah, I, I like to think of this Sailor Moonish, kind of like transformation, like some kind of disguise with the twilight behind it to dazzle you. That kind of thing, right? Like. I was like, hoping to, like, manipulate the intentions, but there's this one sword here, and all the rest of them are pointing, like, you know, almost like, here's the point. This is the truth, the rest of it is lies. What you're afraid of? Change with the two of pentacles. You're weighing your options out and trying to figure out what it is you're trying to do. There's the Obero eating itself. What's going on around you? The Nine of Wands. Strength reversed. Hmm. Maybe you are not exerting as much strength as you once were. What is the Nine of Wands? Like, it, that was the one where the dude was holding up guard with the wands, right? Like, maybe you're not exuding that strength as much, or maybe you're not needing to exude that much of, like, being guarded. Or having to be that strong anymore, or maybe you just lessened on it a little bit. What's going against you? Three of Cups, possibly a third party situation. Um, maybe even a celebration of sorts. Just a showering with all of these cups pouring over. Might have even been a bit of too much indulgence. So you're letting your guard down to open your heart. And here's all of this celebratoriness, even though there's something back here that isn't discoverable yet. Like, something's hidden away. Like, something isn't being honest in this situation, I feel like. With this final result in all of this being Queen of Cups, someone who is within their emotions, someone who's reflecting what they're casting. 
She looks more like a person in this water than she does right here. She's very much influencing a lot around her with her motion. With her water, with her intensity almost. With the beginning theme being movement, change, drive, energy, going back and forth. Things are going, things are coming. So we have this Knight of Cups, could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, who is offering some true feelings of romance, passion, emotion. But what's going against that is the Three of Cups, which I kind of feel like overflowing with celebration, with joy, with... But it's like almost premature. Like hoping a knight of discs will join on a journey with you maybe a beginning journey with the fool with that fire energy and that's leading up to this fear of having to weigh out options or try to balance things out or Maybe one is afraid of looking at the dark portion of the cells and are only focused with the head on the uh, light part of them. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. Like, someone is not trying to focus on this. Like, that is, um... Okay, that's Capricorn sign right there. This is Jupiter up here. So if there is some luck in the light and there are some obstacles, if not lessons, to be learned in the dark part of you. Like, yeah, there's some joy, success up here in this light, but like with Capricorn right there, it's like, ah, you gotta go through some shit to get it. You gotta go through some shit to get it. And it's going to take a lot of energy manipulation, says the magician. It's going to take a lot of effort to uh, get it to this point. Right? Right. And there's like a lessening of a guard when it comes to some disguise or hidden agenda or behavior. And I feel like someone is going to be very in tuned and open with the emotions around them and intuitive in how to go about doing this. It might be this Pisces Scorpio Cancer person or it might be somebody else who's emulating this but someone's going to come in with some understanding of emotion. They might even help clear the air with this fear of weighing the changes out. It's kind of funny. It's almost saying like a cycle is about to enter into a new part, the twilight part. He's already started on his tail. He can only go like this direction for a bit, you know, before he comes back to the light. Or it could be like somebody who is about to go into this whole like light cycle and they just need to come out of the dark first. Fear of change for the better, maybe. No whammies. Okay. So, Libra, let's continue with this Knight of Cups. He's offering their true feelings. Because they are also a scorned queen of swords, that cold, distant, um, indecisiveness, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So either this Knight of Cups is offering their heart to a queen of swords who's just ready to chop people's heads off and just feels absolutely hurt, or he's coming off as such. Or maybe he's trying to end this period as being the Queen of Swords. Being hypercritical and not really helping or being productive in that matter. With 
the seven of swords where i feel like there's disguises hidden agendas going on that might be exposed it because there was no actual good beginning like ace of pentacles it's like this offer like it looks the same upright and reversed Huh. The writing in it, like, I don't recognize. Well, I don't recognize. Two. Mera. Often. I'm not sure. Ophian? I'm not sure that what the hell that means, right? Because I haven't looked at the freaking book. Um. Like, is somebody being deceptive with a bad offer? Because it looks the same one way or another, but, like, it's reversed, so I don't think it's a good offer. And, like, the Seven of Swords is behind it, so I think it's like a disguise. Like, it, it, it looks beautiful one way or another, but it's like there's something behind it, and it's just kind of like, what is this... What is this I'm picking up here? What is this sense of like almost treachery I'm smelling behind this? Like I think I think it has something to do with like I think there's something hidden, like hidden agenda behind this uh, offer that like you already smell is bullshit. That's nice. Uh, with. The Two of Pentacles calling in for change, possibly for the better. It is because someone has the Six of Wands making them feel like, well, there are enemies around them. That they can't get any, uh, whatchamacallers. That they are alone in this shit, right? Then we have the Nine of Wands reverse, where maybe someone's, like, letting their guard down, listening to strength. It's got Sagittarius right there, that little arrow. Oh, indulgences, eight of cups, possibly Gemini. No, that's not Gemini. That is a uh, is that Gemini or is that Pisces? I think that's Gemini. No, 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 Gemini don't look like that. That's got to be Pisces. But yeah, like, and I'm not sure what this symbol is right here, but I think it's overindulgence. I think someone's got some regrets they need to let go of like only some of these cups are filled only four of them are filled up and it's like all the other ones are drained out like you lost your strength because you went too hard at it emotionally maybe or someone did and now it's just like hmm like, a lot of potential wasted. Now they're not as, um, full as they used to be. Like, usually it talks about, like, moving on to better things and joy, but I feel like... I feel like it's more along the lines of, like, only these four cups are filled and the rest of them are empty and they're, like, things that can't be filled or replaced. Like, you're moving on hoping to, like, find some other substance to fill those cups and it's like you're losing strength in it because like they're still empty like giving your heart has just maybe made you a little bit bitter because you've been trying to find something to replace that emptiness possibly somebody anybody with this Three of Cups, which I feel like is overfilledness, like over abundance, over joy, celebration, such like that. Maybe even third party a little bit, right? Like everyone's getting a shower. Mm. Uh, what's going against you with this? Ah, uh, game. Nine of Pentacles. A uh, little bit of overindulgence in this lifestyle. Like, look at how flashy this is. Look at these figures in here. We got Virgo, 
We got some dude up here and all this other stuff. It looks like a freaking 70s partying scene. But with no drugs required, right? Right. So that's kind of there. I'm really not sure how to make of that, though, but it's there. And the final card in all of this, with this Queen of Cups who's being a little bit more observant and is definitely reflecting her emotions back into this water. The Magician. Using your, your intuition to help you manifest and create many things. Good deal. With the ending theme... Being hidden manipulations, hidden emotional manipulations with that. So it's still the theme of needing clarity. It's almost like you realize, like, trying to give your heart out, like, just made you really bitter. And you just didn't have the strength to keep trying to replace something that was lost in these cups, I think. Like, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this, you know? Like... All this try to offer your heart just kind of hurts you a little bit. And maybe you realize you would overindulge and like now these cups are empty and you can't refill them back up. And I feel like behind this like shit offer there was always this disguise. Like this was always back here I feel like. And this was always a bad offer. And I think you are getting cleared up on that a little bit. And... That's dealing with all of this, like, luxury lifestyle, maybe? Or believing that there will be one? And, like, overindulging in that? And now you're just trying to get yourself right so you can figure out how to create your own reality. Even though it involves a change that you're really scared of and you don't know if you'll be able to come against all of that almost. But luck is here, and so is Leo, and Leo's pretty lucky. Unless you're dealing with a Leo who's come against you. That could be saying something as well. Maybe Pisces left you a little late? Empty as well. I mean, like, you know, that could be possible. Their signs are in these cards, too. Never noticed that before. I didn't think each card was associated with something. But that's pretty nifty. And we got... Six of Swords! Science! Something to do with a little bit of knowledge, gaining balance, maybe... There's a lot of crossing in this, regardless of the swords. Like, what is the Six of Swords usually? Departures? Trying to calm waters, trying to figure out pathways, maybe realizing, like, you need to go a different way. And I think, like, that's what the science thing kind of means. Like, trying to come together with different swords and different things and it's made a beautiful pattern but it's not very calming looking like all of this different information is almost conflicting just crossing paths which way or another like nothing's really going like the same direction they're all in different angles and different aspects regardless even the swords like, everything's, like, crossing each other, and it's all, like, chaotic and very, um, anxious-driven. Like, meticulous sense patterns. And then we have Five of Wands, Strife. A lot of beating each other with the sticks, right? Look at this. Like, here is Leo. Wait, that's... Is that Leo? Yeah, that's Leo. That is Leo's sign once again. And... Is that Saturn's? That makes sense with the strife. But yeah, like, a lot of competition. A lot of, like, showing off bravado. So that's really interesting. Last card. 
the Empress Reverse, possibly even a female Aries. Um, someone who's not being as nurturing as kind as they should be. Someone who's kind of turning her back on her responsibilities as being motherly and intuitive and understanding and kind. Like, she's become a bit shun-worthy. She's kind of shunning people. She's acting like she's ashamed to be associated with them. So that is yours, Leaper, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.